Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, kiddos. How are you today? Good, awesome. Hey, I'm excited to be back here uh, teaching you just another devotional, another time in God's Word. Uh, and I would invite you, if you have your Bibles, uh, to open up to the book of Psalm, Psalm 119. The book of Psalms, there are multiple Psalms in it, but Psalm 119, and I want you to get to verse 89. Psalm 119, verse 89. If you are there, give me a what? Uh-huh. If you're there, give me a what? Oh, yeah. If you are there, give me a hearty what? Amen. Amen. And again, Psalm 119, verse 89, if you are not there, and so Psalm 119, 89 says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. I'm going to repeat that, and I'm going to want you to hear those words very carefully. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled, or that word just simply means taken care of, in heaven. And I have a story today I want to read us. And it's called Bible School. Glimmer Firefly and her friend, Glowy, sat together at the lunch table. They were finished eating. Glimmer had her Bible open on the table. She and Glowy were reading the account of Joseph. Buster Beetle, the school bully, walked past the table and left. This isn't Sunday school. Why are you reading that here? He sneered. The Bible is for every day. Not just Sunday, Glimmer bravely answered. Buster just made a face and walked away. Glowy looked at Glimmer. You are brave for reading your Bible at school. Don't you ever wonder what the other kids think of you? Glimmer replied, Jesus talks to me through his word. I need him to help me every day because I am saved. I have Jesus with me all the time. And Jesus conquered sin. He's stronger than anything in this world, even bullies, even Satan. And the great news is that he lives in me. That makes me strong, too. In our verse, 1 John 4.4, 4, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That verse, verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. You see, Glimmer Firefly didn't sit there and let the bully take her down. She was bold in her faith. She was bold in making sure she told others about Jesus Christ and how she acted and what she did. And question I have for you today, young person, is this. What do you do to show your faith in God? I have one last example for you, and I want to ask you a couple quick questions before I hold these up. Does anybody know what a missionary does? What are some of the things that a missionary does? List them at home really quickly. Okay, good. They do teach. Yes, some of them are nurses. Very good. Awesome, I like that idea too. That one's even really cool. I like those. And you're all kind of probably hitting, yelling them out, screaming them out, saying them, excited. But the biggest thing that a missionary can do, well, is kind of what this says. Can anybody tell me what this says? Well, you probably can't because it's in Chinese. Let's read what it says. And I may mess up the pronunciation, by the way. Sheng Diai Ni. Mr. Emerson, I don't know what in the world you just said. Okay. How about this one? Some of you are, if you know this in Spanish, I know a few of you do, make sure that you don't actually translate it, because the point in this is to get to the what it actually means. Dios te ama. Does anybody know what that means at home? A few of you do, I know, because you can speak Spanish. For the, my Russian students who are watching this, don't you dare... Tell your friends what this says. 
okay? And I made sure I, I'm gonna probably butcher this really, really, really bad because I'm learning Russian as well uh, with our stay at home order. But bog, you a bit, tibia. And I may have misenunciated that. Nobody knows what that is. I mean, I know my Russian students do. I know some of you who speak Spanish may know what Dios de, de Ama means. But all of those mean the same thing. In English, that means God loves you. See, that's a missionary's job. And today, young person, you know what? If you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, your job is to tell others about Jesus. Now, some of you may know what this is. Some of you may not. This is called a gospel tract. And this is what we can sometimes use as a tool to get God's word out in case we don't have our Bibles with us. But we should have our Bibles with us at all times. We should be excited because forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. God's word is very clear on how to be saved, on being bold for him, on reading his word versus being scared. Being like Glimmer Firefly in our story that I briefly read versus cowering in fear. Well, what will people think? What, are, what if they make fun of me? Let me ask you, young person, is it better for you to be cool around your friends or for you to... Follow God, because his word is settled forever in heaven. And maybe the reason that you struggle with it is because you have nothing to share. And let me encourage you, whether you speak Chinese, or Spanish, Dios te ama, or you speak Russian, Bog yibit. Tibia, or like most of us, we speak English, God loves you. Brother Reynolds did a fantastic job yesterday talking about God's love for us and how he's paid for that penalty. We have nothing to fear. Even though it says for the wages of sin is death, that verse doesn't stop. It says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that if you do not know Jesus Christ, as your personal Savior today, would you please accept him? Will you ask him into your heart? Ask mom and dad. Maybe mom and dad, you don't know Jesus either as you're watching this. It's simply believing that you're a sinner. Accepting that fact that you deserve a place called hell. That Jesus came to pay for your sins. And he didn't just die. He didn't just be get buried. But he rose again. He fully paid for your sin and that you're willing to accept his gift of salvation which was his death burial and resurrection into your heart and ask him receive him much like a gift much like pastor layman talked about and maybe it's a prayer like this dear heavenly father i know i've sinned i know i've done wrong i know i may have lied i may i may have done so many things that have hurt you and I simply just want to accept you as my personal Savior. Please come into my heart and save me now. I believe your son died, was buried, and rose again. Again, save me now, Father, in Jesus' name. Now again, that prayer isn't what saves you. It's Jesus Christ. But with the mouth confession is made, there needs to be something that comes from here as well as in your heart. And Christian... Again, our job is to tell others God loves you. Telling others and showing our faith and making sure that we have a heart, we have a desire to tell others about the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and pray and we'll be on with our day. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, this devotional and just, it's kind of a combination of things. Bible school is what it was called. And Father, the idea that we shouldn't be afraid to share our faith and to read your word. But also, Father, for those who are lost, that they know the love of you and your precious son, Jesus Christ. I thank you for this time in your word. And please bless anybody who's watching this. Those who are lost, they'd be saved. And those who are saved, they'd be encouraged. 
to be bold for you. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.